and we welcome you here to beautiful Eastwood High School. I'm here with my buddy Rick Chaika. I couldn't spell your name, brother. Yeah, but he can. And it only had six letters, which made it real tough for me there. But it's only uh, got five. There. Okay. All right. Hey, it's Rosford coming in to take on Eastwood tonight, and a big game. This is basically, this is basically for number one yep. place in uh, NBC right yes, now. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's gonna be a good game, I think. You know. I, I know you've been in a lot of games this year, seeing what's been going on, and uh, it, it, a, a lot of craziness in the Northern Buckeye oh, yeah. here in the last few weeks. And uh, I think, uh, you know, Rossford's got to come in and play their absolute best game. And and you know what? Eastwood's got to maybe tighten a couple of screws to make yep. some things happen. Yep, Eastwood's got to play one good ball game here. Rossford, they're playing really good at this point, and Eastwood just, Hasn't had it a little bit, right? They're up and down, and but I think it's going to be a good it's one. It's going to be a good one. I'm looking forward to the Deweese Vorst battle yes. inside. Yep. I'm looking forward to what Myers is going to do and how they're going to be able to, you know, you, you, there, there's a lot. You know, Ben's still a little sore yep. from his accident that he had, so he's not probably at 100 percent tonight. But you've got Jake, and you've got a lot of other things, and and the you know. The, the Bose brothers. Yep. I mean, I, it's just, it's so nice to be back in this gymnasium. Yes. Have two you here with teams, me? Two great teams yeah. in the NBC. Yeah. Fighting for the title. It's going to be a good one tonight. We've got Rosford Eastwood right here on the Toledo Sports Network. That's an all night thing, You're right? Invited to stay yep. in for the playing and singing of our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. We're going to do our national this anthem. This evening by the Eastwood High School Pep Band under the direction of Mr. Brian Meyer. And now, let's meet the Bulldog starters, coached by Mr. Brian Borst. A 6'4 senior, number zero, Ben Morrison. A 6'3 junior, number two, Brendan Rebels. A 6'3 junior, number 14, Garrett Murphy. A 6'4 junior, number 21, Jake Morrison. And a 6'9 junior, number 22, Derek Borst. Eagle fans, welcome to Eagles starting unit, coached by Mr. Todd Henline. A 5'10 senior guard, number two, Jacob Lines. A 5'10 junior guard, number three, Case Boos. 6'1", senior guard, number four, Lake Booth. A 6'3", senior forward, number 22, Jacob Meyer. And a 6'3", senior post, number 34, Emmett Getz.
once again, we welcome you back here to Eastwood. What is, uh, it, it, what is the name of this ball court here? I, I didn't know if they had a special name. I don't think so. Oh, okay. All right. I haven't been around for quite a few years, Mike. You know, you are the uh, um, you are the man when it if you ask Pat Eakin, he could tell you everything. I, I think people just don't understand we're trying to do a basketball game here at Channel. Uh, oh, come on, come on. And we got it rusty. You know, Ben's uh, nursing an esophagus. Esophagus. Injury here. And <laughs> oh, Rebels takes a hit down low. Well, sorry, sorry there, boss man. <laughs> and people don't understand, this is the only place they can put us and uh, everybody stands in front of us and then we, uh, <laughs> I, I'm just gonna watch the monitor here. Uh, yeah. Can't see too much. <laughs> there we go. And we're trying to watch this game here. You know, Myers has just been such a, Hardcore player and uh, Vorce gets that rebound, brings it up with Rebels taking it up the right side. Vorce gonna pop three. a three. Off the mark a little and bit. He can Boots do that. Rebound, you know? Yes, he can. He's very good with doing that. Bose out to I think Limes. it's to Bose. To Lines. Oh, that's Lines. Oh yeah, you gotta watch it here, huh? Gets. Got Gets it. Gets three. Gets. Boston moving the ball up. Oh, nice box out oh, by yeah. Getz there. You're gonna, we're gonna have to see a lot from Myers tonight if you're an Eastwood fan. And, and I, some of the games I, I've seen him play is just phenomenal. Yes, he is, but they need good play from all their players tonight. Yeah. Exactly. This is a very good roster team. There's Boom! Three from there. Two. 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 Right there. Jacob Meyer. Beautiful three-point shot right there. And you're gonna be seeing a lot of that. There it is. Murphy, little short, but Rebels oh. picks it up. It's loud in here tonight, yes, folks. It it's is. definitely loud. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit here. I'm probably blowing up my system here. Motion, rebound lines. Been able to do a lot so far. Jacob's really been uh, able to Pick the pocket, I guess, of Rebels yep. and stuff like that. Yep. It won't be too long. She won't be yeah. here that long. Trust me. Here. All right. All right. Case Booster with up top. The Meyer. Meyer back to Booze. The Lions. Back to Booze. Hoping for some really good yeah. stuff inside, though, too, with Getz. Yep. Little 3 2 uh, zone that they're playing right now, the uh, Bulldogs. So Meyer for three. Rebound nice boards. Right. Foster's running her up the court. And they'll do that. Yep. Quick pace in the boards. Reynolds wide open. Off the mark a little bit, boost the rebound. Got no problem with that shot. Nope. Check Why that was he? just, you know, he took his time. He probably took too much time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> give it to the Eagles right now. They're playing their game right now. Rebels with it. Oh. oh. Not sure what happened there. This three pointer was a Pro Bowl's pointed three pointer worth $25 for the boys' basketball program. Into the Eagle lineup is number 40, Gavin DeWeese, and also number five, Tristan Sherman. Five zip we got right now early in the game. Got DeWeese coming in and Sherman coming in for the Eagles. 
Hey, Truman wants you to say something. Hi, Dave Truman. Now read it. Say hi to the Knesnies, huh? There you go. Hi, Knesnies. <laughs> oh Three pointer for Baby Boots. Three pointer by Kate. He's put up eight nothing early. Well, both of these teams are just incredibly cool. Oh. Uh, Good thought. That's the first timeout we got right now. Yep. We got Luis lost the mullet. He, <laughs> he come back to East, but he timeout. lost the mullet. He sure did. We got a commercial. We'll be right back right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Moe's Place, downtown Rossford, has the best burgers in town and much, much more. Stop by for their famous Flaming Mo Burger. Moe's Place, proud to bring you Rossford High School Sports. It's absolutely crazy in here right now, folks. That's the uh, Rossford, Rossford, they're at the blackouts tonight. They've got the uh, the blackouts and Eastwood is an all whiteout. So yeah. it's, it's, it's a black and white game tonight. Look at them. Yes, this place is packed. I mean, poor, poor, the maestro up there, Gene Hackman's having a little problem. He's, it's tight up there for him, you know. He doesn't he'll, have he'll that. He'll get her done, though, Mike. He doesn't have that movement like he normally does, and we can't see his hand signals either. <laughs> so uh, eight zip right now. Uh, Eastwood's playing real well. Gavin Deweese, that's first we're going to see him. Little short right there. Ball oh, stays ball, with yeah, it does. It does. Definitely. I got to say a shout out to a guy named Doug DeWeese. Doug DeWeese? Doug DeWeese. Something happened. That ball went back yep. to uh, Rossford right there. Big thanks to everybody making this happen tonight. Rex Hoffman, God love you, buddy. Thanks for all you do for us to make sure we get these games on. Of course, all the great people over at Lee Williams House of Meats. Got to watch them passes. Ben had a little problem with that. Great defense. East was playing good defense Incredible right now. Incredible defense right now. And it just, it takes, it takes Ross for, oh, he had him too. He had him. There you go. Yeah, Gavin was a little yep. too rambunctious on that one. And you know, I think I know why he didn't start tonight. Because of the foul problems. And, and there were times in my games where I wouldn't start. I'd come in about a minute and a half, two minutes in just to see where we were at on everything. Because, uh, yeah, these two are just going to. Oh, yeah, they are. They're going to take the rust, of, the rust off of both of their bumpers. A lot of pushing in there. Arnston's in for Eastwood now. They're basically in a man. They're yep. basically in a man, and it's actually working very well so far. Rebels didn't get it. Meyer, not the man you want the ball with if you're a Rossford fan. That should stay with yep. uh, Eastwood. Well, it's been a good quick 225 left in this one. Add something in my. Uh, I was gonna say that's not me, Mike. No, it's. Uh, I'm not shaking that bad. <laughs> no, it's our, uh, it's our, our phone thing. You lost it now. Uh, uh oh, what we got there? There we go. It's getting scrappy both ends here. On Meyer, over the bench. Meyer, his first. Seed second. That's uh, the game. Eagles the team second foul here in the first smoke. half. Two eleven left to go. Mike Jamison and Rick Chaika, the one and only. Brandon Swope in for Murphy. I do not know where that's coming from, but I'll I'll figure it out here. It's probably my microphone. No, no me. Nothing again. Wow. Off Rossford.
I think that's most kids for the Rossford stands I've seen in a while. Oh, Mike. I agree. And they're at Eastwood. Hey, you've got your buddy Mark Catlinburg tuning in from North Carolina hey, right now. Hey, Mark, I see your dad Roger sitting over there. Oh, yeah. I ain't oh, seen nice. that guy for a long There's time. There's the Luis. 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 There's Ben. <laughs> Off Eastwood. Returning for the Eagles in number two, check up lines in number lines four, in. Lake Loose. And Lake Loose come back in for the Eagles. He's substituting left and right tonight. And, and, line. For Rossburg, number 14, and that's Garrett, one of the reasons Eastwood is that good that they have the ability to sub like that. Yes, they can go and deep. And they can really go deep, and it works real well for the Eastwood Eagles. Yeah. There's Ben with two. You can't give Ben the ball that quick inside. You just can't. It's, nope. uh, that's like Revels inside. It's just, it's basically two points. Right. And I'm just amazed he's even out there after his uh, accident. And uh, looks like he's doing pretty he's good. He's playing well. Ball got tipped a little bit there. Myers is going to take the three. Or the, yeah, the three. Myers, two. Just two. That's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not, nobody came right. to him. They right. needed it. He needed him. There's Ben. Nope. Off the mark. Oh, Deweese with the rebound. Luis got a lot on this game. A lot on this game. He's excited, and him and Voris are going to beat each other up as much as they can. Luis at the buzzer, got and it. it's good. Three-point play, 15 to 2, end of the first. We'll be right back with more second quarter right here on the Tour of the Sports Network. Stick around. From the kitchens of Italy to you, Arturo's Pizza Kitchen is the home of authentic Italian food. As one of the oldest independently owned pizzerias in Toledo, Arturo's Pizza Kitchen has been serving since 1988. With pizza, salads, award-winning subs, chicken chunks and wings, mom's own lasagna recipe, and our famous cheese sticks, we have it all. Never frozen, always homemade. Arturo's Pizza Kitchen. Hungry? Call Arturo's, 419-698-1641. Stop struggling with the big box stores. Choose Gladio. A hardware store gets so much more. Your home improvement answer store. A place to design your interior space. A professional and friendly smiling face. Everything you need for your home. And Gladio is locally owned. About ready to start that second quarter. Mike Jameson and Rick Chaika here with the Toledo Sports Network. All Eagles right now, 15 to two, as we start the second. And Rick, you know it's it's just the all the years we've been doing Eastwood games, all the years we've been doing Rossford games. It's you put these two together, and it's oil oh, and water, man. Yeah. And and there, and it's always a good game now. Always, you know always, always. We got some girls that are. Uh, that Pass are in into Meyer underneath. Oh no, that wasn't Meyer. That was Getz. Yeah. They got a foul. I'm thinking that might be on Jake. Foster foul number zero. On Ben. ben. Oh, it's on Ben. ben. First, team first. This first. Well, I got the Morrisons right, just not the right one. Yeah. Getting something funky here tonight. I don't know what it is, but uh, doesn't like me. It could be that. Oh, here comes Rossford. Uh, Armstrong. Number twenty, Andrew Armstrong. His first team third. 
at the line to shoot two. For Rossford is Ben Morrison. And and if you're if you're Rossford right now, you got to keep attacking. So you yes. want to be at the foul line. Drills the first. Eastwood is playing good defense tonight. Oh yeah. Second one's good. Rossford with a little press. 11 point game right now and, uh, and Rossford and Eastwood just really is just playing dynamite. Oh, Meyer threw Here that comes one away. Ben. Got it. Got it. Ben, not going to stop that. I mean, that's Rossford basketball right yep. there. Everything happening on the outsides and everything, he could just target it in. Ben with another, that that should be Rossford ball. Number 22, Derek Forrest, and back for Eastwood, our number three, Case They Boos. say it's Eastwood and ball. 40, Gallen, oh, they are giving that one to yep. Eastwood, okay. 15-6 is our score. Just Gavin wanting it his way. Handling it well. Nice. Oh, Lyme's missed a little bunny. That's what wins and loses games for you. Yep. There you go. Murphy for three. Oh, short. He's still running her down court a little bit. Yep. Deweese up. Over four. And out. Still good. Now just, Jake just got two rebounds right there. Nice pass. Right the Rebels. He don't miss. Second He's foul on Meyer. I mean, that's Eastwood Rebels bread and butter. Two, 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 and five, kind of amazed he went in right. Two, yep. He always two, goes two, in left, left yep. even though he's a right-handed. I talk about that all the time, but he is just so fluid on making things happen. And that's almost a timing. It's a, it's a timing play that they do there. And and he waited until that everything kind of cleared out there. Yep. He does a good job handling the ball for Rossford after Gaston last year. Oh, yeah. Got it. 15-9. We got us another ball game yes, here, folks. Early in the second quarter. Oh. We got to kind of teach all the kids. We got to teach. I got John Bauer taking. He is my man tonight. Taking the good pictures and making sure, keeping it wide open for us here. Chike, I'm so glad you were able to make it tonight, buddy. Oh, I wasn't missing this oh, for nothing. I didn't think you were. This is, oh, nice movement awesome. by the yep. Bulldogs. He got fouled twice. Awesome. Yeah. He got fouled before he was going up for the shot oh, yeah. on that one. I got to see it on the monitor. Oh, yeah. yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, he's not shooting. On yeah, he's not shooting. I didn't think he was. He got fouled before. I just think they just didn't hit the they didn't hit the whistle quick enough. No. Nope. Oh, that's on lines. Jacob Lines. Jacob lines. All of a sudden, it's gotten a little feisty here. Six fouls for on the Eastern. Eagles, yep. and just one on the uh, Bulldogs right now. Oh, <laughs> good hustle on Limes. Limes out there. is making it real clear. I'm quicker than yeah. you think I am. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh -oh. oh, in some serious traffic, and the Eagles get it. All Myers, nice spin. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful Myers. move. Yeah. Oh, Rebels. Yeah. I like that shot yes, right there. Sir. Even if he missed, I like that shot. Yep. 
They're going to give him that he, little eight footer. Great. He usually don't miss that one. Timeout. It's going to be a quick one. We're going to take a quick one. We'll be right back. We'll be right back, folks. I would have wasted all my days in a dream. That's where I know you'll always be. I'm telling you, you're a star. Rick Chike is our star tonight here, and uh, we do appreciate him being he here. Have, he, get his, he has no friends. He gets you. <laughs> oh, see, that's why we do these games. We're not boring, that's for sure. We just want you to have a good time watching these games or listening to them, whatever you're doing. And, uh, you know, we've got great sponsors like Lee Williams House of Meat. You know what I did today? You'd be proud of me. I took about a two and a half pound chuck roast out for tomorrow. And I'm gonna put it on at about eight in the morning, so I'll be able to eat it for like a week. Well, I might come over and oh, eat with please you. Please do. Maybe, maybe. I don't know if you'll sit in the hot tub with me maybe, though. No, no. But maybe Truman will. No, 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 no. Miss? Oh, DeWeese. how about that DeWeese kid? Wow. Well, you took that right away from him. Wow, that's the kind of stuff that dreams are made of right there, man. That was beautiful. He stood back up 19 to 9. Boy, he's was playing good defense. It is so loud in here. Both ends. It's like when you're trying to make a putt over a crosswind. Well, and I'm yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> or that tee shot that went into the ditch. Not me. About 20 yards in front of you. Oh, Forrest. See, they're letting him go and they pick him up on that side. The Rebels. Myers got away oh. with one on that. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to come down. Rebels, he moves good with the ball. I just, he's very smooth and yep. he knows where to be. Yep. Uh, over to Myers. Myers liked it. Yeah. Didn't get it to go. That was a nice shot, too. Yep. Got, got four. Not a lot of scoring so far on either side. No. So Ben's got six, and uh, so far, and Rebels has got five for the uh, for Rossford. Got to say thank you to the failers. Look at them go. I'm not used to doing this. Oh, uh, that's a. They're doubling up on Vorst in there, and they're not, and they're doubling up with the little guys who are quick. Yes, yes. And they're just, they're just taking it from him, you know. Yep. We need John Bauer in there. They wouldn't take the ball from John, <laughs> huh? <laughs> He'd have a camera in his hand the whole time, though, you know. He'd yep. be like me or Glenn. There's well, a lot about Look it. At he that. Goes to the hoop. Oh. oh, wish he had that one back. Yep. Because that was all him. That was an easy two. It's all right. He was quick on that one. He missile yep. butted that one. Here we go, two. See, this, uh, the guard comes over. Uh, Limes gets his hand in there. Yeah, yeah. Case Boost goes over and tickles him on the left side. And he's so quick with his hands that Voris is having a lot of problems with that tonight so far. And they're playing real good defense on Voris tonight. They're switching guys in and out on him. Well, if you got two on there. him, somebody's open. Backside's yep. open. Yep. So, and they they just haven't figured it out yet or figured out where the open guy is right. yet, if you're a Rossford fan. I got to be careful because I love the Eastwood people, too. I'm just glad to be here. Look at that. Nice yeah, move. Yeah, that's nice. Hey, nice Bruce. move. Case did a nice job with that. And he took his time, and he waited for that to open up and let the defensive guy go behind him, and he flicked it off the fingers. Gorgeous. Nice. Oh, they found that guy there. See, that's where they it's at. It. Yep. That's going to be there all the time on the double. Yep. 21-13, left to go in the half. Oh, oh. yeah, there you do that. Oh. Gets. Gets got it back. Oh. Short. Oh, nice job. Eastwood's going hard to the boards. Myers can move. Wow, huge. Oh, tackle Arnston. 
Went in, slid right across the floor. He's got it. that poop-eating <laughs> grin on his face <laughs> after he did that. He knows what he did. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. He thought it was football, not basketball. I know what he did. Yeah. And then you know what? If I'm him, it, I'm in his nose the whole <laughs> talking about it too. That's good hustle. He seen the ball coming to him, went for it. Actually, I want to get the score right. It's 23-13. Sorry about that. Looking at the big board. Murph, Murph. missed it. Wow. He don't miss too many from the no, foul line. No, he don't. No, he don't. And that's where you got to just, you know, take a deep breath. We get it under 10 here in the half. And you know how Rossford is a second Meyer. half team. Off a little bit. Morrison bringing it up. Nice. They're just trying everything in their power to get Vorst involved, and now they can. He and takes he one. In and out. That's his shot right there. Yeah. Yeah, that 90% of the time, that's going in. 55 seconds left to go in a half. This one's gonna try, is they going to try and hold for one? <laughs> Unless you've got a wide open layup and you just don't know. Well, Arntz is going to take it off the mark. Coach Heinlein's not going to like that. They needed to keep it for that 40 seconds. No. And they, they have the passers to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh. They're forcing it on that Bruce one. Bruce is going at it hard. Oh. Yeah. But Getz got it. Nice, oh, nice move. Job. Nice move. Nice job. Emmett Getz. They better wake up because Rebel's going right to the basket. I got to tell you right now, uh, I don't know what I'm, why I'm getting that. Something. I'm going to have to call Truman because you probably yeah. just don't want me talking. No, it's Mike. my mic. I'm sorry. It is my mic. I'm yeah. sorry, folks. I got to get it checked out. Eastwood is owning the board so far in this game. Yes, 25 are. 13 is our score. 10 seconds. They're, We're going to wait for the last one now. They've stepped up their defense big time. Oh. Arnston for three off the mark. Morrison. That's the half. 25 13 Eastwood Eagles at half. What can you expect from working with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation? Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419-481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. Different problems require different solutions. Seagate Roofing and Foundation Services has been solving water problems for over 30 years. We have the expertise to provide you with the best solution. Seagate replaces foundations, straightens walls, lifts sinking foundations, and waterproofs basements. Get your free estimate before you make a decision because you deserve to have all the facts. We are the local experts. 244-LEAKC Gate. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric, 419-691-8284. If you're looking for fantastic Italian food along with old world hospitality and family traditions, D'Astasio's is your place. Located in Elmore, Ohio, Coach Mike D'Astasio and his family have become a fast favorite with pizza, lasagna, and other great old world Italian dishes. Stop out today or call them at 419-862-0404, D'Astasio's, 351 Rice Street in Elmore, Ohio. 
you know, they may not be the best glasses, but they work right now. So, so, so he's doing what OG did before. Yeah, oh, yeah. Double teaming. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, I want to get some special thanks out to all the great people over at Pro Golf Fair Fairways, my dear friend Jeff Menor, and uh, all that's been going on. We, we do our radio show there on Saturday mornings. Brandon Saba and everybody over at Bar 145, Nick and Jimmy's, Pro Golf Fairways at Monroe Street, and Pro Golf Fairways over at uh, Cameo and Reset in Perrysburg. I can't, they're helping us out because, you know, now we have to uh, we have to give the schools 100 bucks a game. And uh, I, I guess if I'd have known about that three weeks before the season started instead of two weeks after the season started, We've got some wonderful sponsors and we thank them a lot. We've popped up a thing for our, our uh, PayPal on there and we've had some people help us out with that. I actually I had somebody, uh, Ben, I don't, I don't know who Ben is. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna find out here. I, I, he donated five bucks to us today. And you know what, that's all that really matters. Thank you there, Ben, we really appreciate it. And uh, from uh, uh, Diecast, I don't know what his uh, name is, but thank you so much. And uh, you can see us out at, uh, at uh, Reset. You know, I play in their golf league. They've got the golf simulators, and they're absolutely the best golf simulators out there. And uh, Thursday nights, we're there at 5 o'clock, and uh, we play. And some, we've got hundreds of courses we can play, and uh, we play and keep us ready for the season. You know, Great Lakes Golf will be starting up in, uh, uh, gosh, we're hoping, end of April maybe. And uh, same with our uh, Lake Erie Port of Call which is on CW Network right now on 13.2 on Saturday afternoons at 12.30. Our home improvement television show, which is Let's Fix Her Up, uh, that airs at, uh, that airs at uh, noon. I don't know what we're going to be doing this week. We had some stuff we wanted to do for the show, but I get a sneaky feeling I'm not going to be able to shoot on Thursday, so we're, we're a little worried about that. 25-13 is our score right now. Eastwood on top, and uh, Eastwood's been playing uh, very good. Got some numbers here for you. Uh, ben Morrison, two for four tonight, one three-point shot for six points. Brendan Revels, uh, three for nine tonight, and uh, he's shot. He's got seven points right now. And uh, you're Glenn, no, you're you don't want to be on? Yo, yo, you got the you got the four bush man here too, and he's doing a good good job uh, for uh, for the Eastwood Eagles tonight. Jacob Limes. 0 for 4, but he, he's shooting the ball, the ball pretty well so far. Kate Bose, 3 for 7 for 8 points and 2 3-pointers. And Lake Bose, 1 for 2 and 1 3-pointer for uh, 3 points tonight. And uh, I, I think your total uh, field goals in the first half, 11-29 uh, for 37%. And, uh, and that's for the uh, Eastwood Eagles. First half, 5 for 18, 27% for the Rochford Bulldogs. Three points, uh, 0 for 5. And three point field goals, first half, 3 for 10, 30% for the Eagles. Free throw, 0 for 0 for uh, Eastwood Eagles. And uh, free throws, first half, 3 for 4, 75%. Uh, got to look here uh, on uh, fouls and rebounds and things that they need to do right there. Uh, right now, uh, Eastwood Eagles are just dominating. They're 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 playing their game and they they know what they need to do and they they, they keep that intensity level up. They're going to be good. We're going to come back. We got a couple of commercial messages and we've got Steve Bin on camera right now. You don't want to see Steve Bin on camera. So we'll be back with more right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Mommy Bay Turf Center, a leader in synthetic sports services as well as natural field construction, maintenance, and renovation. Mommy Bay Turf is part of Turf Nation, the most trusted source in the synthetic turf industry, including creating the surface for the biggest game in pro football. From professional, college, and high school sports to recreation and commercial projects, check them out at mommybayturfcenter.com and see our large collection of finished projects and services. Mommy Bay Turf Center, we build better. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genoa Bank, a locally owned community bank providing a full range of banking services. At Genoa Bank, we believe a bank should do more than just conduct business. We generally care about the communities we serve and we take our hometown commitment to heart. Our biggest investment will always be in you, whether it's a personal account or business. Genoa Bank is committed to outstanding service. We want to know you by name and help you with all your banking needs. Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. 
Skyworks is a family-owned and operated business specializing in new and used aerial work platforms, sales, rentals, and service. In addition to aerial lifts, we offer material handling equipment, construction equipment, sales featuring new and used telehandlers, excavators, skid steers, scissor lifts, boom lifts, and forklifts, and much more. Contact Skyworks today, 419-662-8630. Proud sponsor of high school sports in the area. Yoder Brothers Lawn and Snow, where we treat your yard as our own. Lawn care, landscape construction, landscape maintenance, hydro seating, snow and ice management, residential and commercial, licensed, insured, trusted. Contact us today, 567-218-1915, 567-218-1915. Yoder Brothers Lawn and Snow, Yoder Brothers Lawn and Snow. At Heben, Murphy & Lewandowski, we deal with contested wills by breaking down the legal terms involved and making this complex area of law as simple as possible. If you are involved with a case in estate or probate litigation, we would be happy to provide you with our unparalleled legal counsel. Heben, Murphy & Lewandowski, downtown Rossford. Contact them today at 419-662-3100. Heben, Murphy & Lewandowski. Getting ready to start the uh, third quarter here. Mike Jamison along with Rick Chaika. He's out there signing autographs with all of his incredible fans. He, he's just coming back now. He got uh, a... <laughs> I just had to make it clear that the reason you weren't here is you were out there signing autographs for all of you. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Exactly yeah, some guy asked me if I was running for mayor. You would be a very good mayor. I really believe you would be a very, you're a very level-headed person. I don't think nobody would vote for me, Oh, my goodness. Only you. All right, here's the deal. 419-514-1302. If you want to vote for Rick Chaika, I'm going to be his business manager. No. No? Can I be your vice mayor? I'll be vice mayor. No. No, I'd take Truman over you. Oh, wow. See how it goes. Because he knows the Knesnies. Oh, <laughs> I can't win. I can't win here. Uh -oh. I just can't. I can't. And I know Dave's listening in. Yeah, Dave, Dave, I'm sure, is listening right now. It's a very good game. 25-13 is our score. Getting ready to start the third quarter, and uh, Bulldogs are going to get the ball. Bulldogs are going to get the ball. I you know, I got a... I got a picture with uh, the maestro, Gene Hackman. There you go. Glenopedia, and uh, it'll, it'll be on Facebook here real soon. I'm sure Marty's going to, Marty Kralik's going to take that and go crazy with it. He's doing a wonderful job on camera for us tonight. Rebels up in the top with it right now. And boy, I'll tell you what. Well, that line, he's, he's all over the place tonight. And they're sticking with their with the man-to-man, -man, yep. and it, it's, it's just ferocious so far tonight. And it's uh, it's given Rossford some uh, some headaches right yes, there. Yes, it is. Ah, now I can see with my broken glasses. Jake. Oh, they got yeah. Emmett guts. Yep, yep. Pushing off. I'm going to say that's his uh, first. first. Oh, that's only his first. first. Yep. And uh, keep up with us uh, for the for the rest of the games this week. Uh, if we can, uh, if we can do games, we'll do them. We just don't know yet. We don't know where we're at. Rob, nice inside. Nice pass. I think Lime stuck a hand in there. He's the foul line number two. Check the lines. This second, team second. And set the, a, set hey, a pick and got two. Ben open and underneath. Ben and it takes a little while for that to work, yep. and that's what they're able to do. That's that's keeping the ball on that on their side on the offensive side of the court, and keeping a Wall, ball away from Eastwood because, you know, they're they're not missing much. No, they're not. They're playing a good game. They're playing real good defense. They did in the first half. Second one oh. missed. Jake Morrison. Oh. Ah. And you still haven't seen any press from Rossford yet. 
Myers. That's his eighth. For There's the Vors. And Vors gets oh, fouled. They got him on that one. He was trying to slam it. He was a little yep. too far under. He's a foul on number 34, Emmett Getz. His second He's on team third. At the line to shoot two is Gary Vors. Need him. It's really surprising. Vors hasn't got a point yet. Eagles is number 40, Gavin. 27, uh, 14 still is our score. Got that one. Close. Got him. Got it. 27, 15 is our score. You got Mike Jamison, you got Rick Chaika. The one and only Rick Chaika. He's got more fans oh. than. I only, the fans. I only got fans at Eastwood. They don't remember me, Mike. Oh, they love you. You're going to be mayor of Eastwood. No, 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 no. No, you don't want to do that? Oh, nice Myers, shot. That's his uh, shot. Rebound like boost. That. They're just all over the boards. Eastwood has been crashing the boards tonight. They're, they're, they're owning the offensive boards right now, and that's something that Rossford's got to take into account here. Oh. That gets over to uh, Jake. He gets it up to Rebels and Murphy three for three. That's got what it. they needed. They get hot. It's going to be a different ball game. It sure Mike. is. It sure is. And they really got. They just got to keep that ball on the offensive end or a quick possession like what we just saw right there. And Eastwood's just able to hold that ball out front. Boost and then do that. that. Boost. Boost comes back and gets a three. 30 to 18, 5.30 left to go in third quarter. Now he's got him. Two again, see? Oh. And he's getting right. fouled. They um, great. Boxing out yeah. by Limes right there on uh, on Murph. Kept him out of there. And it's not like the roster boys are playing bad defense nope. there. It's just, it's positioning. Boost felt it again. Oh, yeah. He's on fire. Get it in divorce. Right nice. there, Rebels. Brendan nice Rebels. feed. We saw that a bunch Vorst. of times. Yeah, nice feed from Vorst right there. Right now, 13-point game. Rossford putting a little pressure on the ball. As we're going to have to do. It's a little different than it was at Rossford. Rossford was up second half most of the game. 4.26 here. Eastwood eating a little clock up here. And they got... They, they've got the ability to do that. Oh, I like that. Should have rolled and gone. Yep. This is this is very controlled basketball for Eastwood here. Oh. Jake Morrison, off the mark a little bit. Rebound Meyer. Meyer is getting up just as high as Worst is. Yep. Limes for three. Got oh. it. 38-20. Rossford wants a timeout. We call that three point, 38. Yep. I'm going to stay right here. Once again, special thanks going out to Rex Huffman helping us out each and every week. Attorney at law right in beautiful Rossford, Ohio. Helped us out of a lot of situations. And everybody in uh, 
the Rossford area knows Rex, and thank you so much, Rex, for getting us to help with these games. Of course, the wonderful people over at Moe's, I'm sure they're watching there right now, screaming and doing their thing that they do. Moe even put a big brand new TV in for us there. Really? It really looks nice. It looks real nice. I'm sure he's got the game on tonight. Oh, I'm sure this one's on tonight. And a big thanks out to Lee Williams House of Meats. I just started thawing my my char my English roast, and I'll put that on in the morning. I'm very excited about that. And by about six o'clock tomorrow night, my house will smell incredible. Is that when I'm coming over? Well, it'll be a little snowy, but are you going to bring your tractor? Oh, you going to no. drive your tractor? Oh no. no, no, no. We don't need a tractor, yeah. Mike. We don't need no. We got to wait for the snow to come. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> what do we? Well, we got Mark Kalenberg in South Carolina, right? Oh, yeah. I don't think he's going to see that snow. Well, they've had a little snow down there. Yeah, but they? he ain't getting what we're going to get, is he? No, not at all. Not he, could, at all. he could come and shovel his damn I driveway out, I still honestly though. don't think we're going to get the snow everybody's thinking about. Are they about. double team forced again? Yeah. Uh, uh -oh. They I got forced on a hold. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. That's only his second, though. Uh, number 22, Derek Forrest. Yeah. first. First. Well, they're saying first, but it's showing second up That's there. That's his second foul. Yeah, it he is. got one early. He first. did. Now the press that. comes yep. on. They got the press on. <laughs> yep. Foster foul on number zero, Ben Morrison. His second, team second. Baby Boos, not that one. Not three in a row. Not three in a row. Got Ben Morrison, oh, drives the, oh. No, oh, you don't need it, don't need it. Move that ball around, get some offense in there. Got one, oh, off the mark, what we got there? Push off. They're gonna call that a Morrison. Morrison. Oh, a Morrison. He's first on Jake. Team third. Into the game for the Eagles. Number five, Tristan Sherman. It's about patience right now. And now that uh, they're gonna put the trap on, and this trap is just crazy tough. Uh, Eastwood breaks that pretty easy. Oh, Morrison got that one. Yes, he did. He put Gavin on the floor. <laughs> he said, you put me on the floor, my turn. Yeah, yeah they're getting caught in there. And Lyons wow. goes to the hole, and that's on Morrison. No, that, uh, that is Sherman. Sherman went to the hole. And oh, you're right. Jake. Sherman come in for Lyons. Morrison, his second team that Getting Shooting kids in and out. Eagles, Fresh guys Sherman. playing good defense. Ross was not shooting very well tonight. Substitutions for the Eagles, including number two, Jacob Lyons. Oh boy, Ben Forbush is on now. And I got I gotta get some props out to him. I love his brats. And I listen to him on WSPD all the time. And Ben just said, Jacob Myers has that Frobo's blood in him. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. Well, Ben, you got some good food over there, buddy, and I uh, love you to death. One of these days we're going to get you on here, and maybe I'll let you come in, and you and Chica could do a game. Oh, Frobo's Meat Market yeah. in Pemberville, Ohio. <laughs> IGA Meat Locker uptown. Well, I better good. at least get some good brats out of that free uh, publicity right there, huh? 38-22 is our score. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Sherman traveled. I didn't see it, but... The fans sure the don't like it. Gary. I went on that Gary Haas thing. I wonder if they have any chili dogs left. I don't know. Because that's one of my favorite things about Eastwood is their chili dogs. They are good. They're incredible. Uh -oh, over the back, Jake. Lines just boxed out perfectly oh, there. Team fifth, returning for Eastwood at number four, Lake Boost at number 22, Jacob Meyer. Oh, see, now Ben's texting you right there. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know. I think it'd be a pretty uh, 
interesting uh, basketball contest right there. Uh oh, not me and Ben. He's a lot. He's a lot younger than I am. You Mike. think? Oh, I know he is. I hear him on the radio all the time. He's a good friend of Fred's. Well, Fred's a good friend of mine. And, uh, even though we're on competing radio stations, with me being on on 100.7 ESPN, the ticket. Did I do that good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Uh oh. Call Jake for another one. That's his fourth. That was quick. Wow. Wow, that's wow. quick. Into the game for the Bulldogs is number 12, Brandon Wolf. We got a minute 15 left to go in the third. Wow. Wow. You know what I need to do? I need to talk to Ben. Since Takis' meets are no longer in Northwest Ohio, we need somebody to make Hungarian Kobas. Oh, that's what? good. Check out Meyer. Call that good? Yes, he did. Well, on wow. zero, ben that was nice. Follow on Ben Morrison. Seven. At the line for one, Jacob Meyer. <laughs> Minute left to go, 41-22 Eastwood. So you and Ben work on that Hungarian Kobas for me, okay? Ben will. I, we need it. I there's don't. none. There is no Hungarian Kobas. I mean, you know, there's kibasa and brats and all that, but there's no Hungarian Kobas. I don't think Ben would want me helping him. What do we got? Kick. We do have kick a kick. Goes back to Rossford. I'm glad you got a chair for me to sit down, Mike. I don't think I sat the whole game. Wow. Said many good people will have say this that you guys would be a good combination. Oh. <laughs> ben Morrison for three. Off oh. the mark a little bit. Oh. Wow. Got to get a little more patient. You got to try and work magic on the back side if you're Rossford that, right now. Everything's off the back side. You got to that's where they're that's where all their money's at. Jacob Martin, no. Nope. You knew that. Oh. oh. Uh, Dewey's gets Dewey's fouled. Dewey's got it and made it. End of the third. Ross. Great, great stuff so far. 43-22. Folks, we'll be back after a couple of commercial messages right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Local sports coverage better than you could ever imagine. Skyworks is a family-owned and operated business specializing in new and used aerial work platforms, sales, rentals, and service. In addition to aerial lifts, we offer material handling equipment, construction equipment, sales featuring new and used telehandlers, excavators, skid steers, scissor lifts, boom lifts, and forklifts, and much more. Contact Skyworks today, 419-662-8630. Proud sponsor of high school sports in the area. Forty-three twenty-two is our score as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Mike Jamison, the one, the only, just ask me. And Rick, the hammer, Chica. <laughs> you're the you're the hammer. Oh. Hey, you you hit that ball so well. But you know, I'm talking basketball. Or I'm talking golf. I'm ready. Yeah. You're going to be, are you going to sub a little in the Tuesday Night League too? Yeah, probably. Oh, good. That's what I like to hear. Well, I took over your partner. Your partner didn't want to golf with you from last I year. I know. You, you got Dion. Roger Bacon. Oh. Got to use the backboard down yeah, there. That's the toughest shot in basketball. You know that? Grandpa Doug better teach him that one. Oh. Reynolds for, yep, you yeah, got needed it. that. And one. At this point, everything going to the hole. Yep. Everything going to the hole. You shoot the three if it's wide open. You shoot the three if it's wide open. Then, then you got it. But uh, you got to. Uh, that's what you have to do if you're Rossford right now. Because you need number one, stop the clock. Yep. And you need to take it to the. You got to take it to the hole uh, and make them. Oh, well, they got to start scoring. Yeah. 
We've had a few of them we tonight. Got press going on. Oh, it's, look at that. Yeah, that's wow. how you break a nice pass. That, my friends, is how you break a press. Ben for three. Oh. No, don't need that. Don't. Just got to start hitting their shots. Mike. Uh, you know what? Seriously, it's one of those, all five of the guys out there, if you're Ross, just take a deep breath yep. and do what you've been best at. You play, know, Play your game. And it, I, I don't ever on this earth want to say, oh, yeah, they, you know, they're best at street ball at anything. They're, they're best at just making their own stuff happen. Right. You know, yep. the, and that's just what Rossford's always been their best at. And uh, right now, Eastwood's just, you know, they're playing their hearts out. They're playing, they're playing like champions right now. They really are. Oh, Lawrence the one to take he it. Didn't need it, but he got that. He nice. got it. Wow. Wow. I don't. Uh, Force for three. There he got it. Three point basket. Garrett Force. Force wants a timeout. 47, 27, now, 6, 21 left to go in this game. You know, and uh, basically, basically what's got to happen right now is, you know, the stopping. They got to be able to stop it right now. The ball handling is just phenomenal with uh, Eastwood, Eastwood right yes, now. Their are. ball handling is great. You know, you got bows, you got uh, both the bows, you got limes, you know, and then you got this incredible 6'3 guy named Myers that plays like a, you know, he's in the NBA, and tonight's his night. Yep. And believe me, I've seen Myers play where he couldn't hit the broadside of a bar. Right. And there's been nights like that. But I'll tell you what, tonight he's clicking, and he's he's just slowed down, and he's got what he needs yep. to take right there. So uh, kudos out to Maul. Henline's got these kids playing real yes, good tonight. Yes, he does. He had them up for this game. Well, they know they know the league title's on the line right here. Yep. So. They know they have to win to get it, both teams. And if you're if you're Eastwood right now, you take some air out of the ball. Yep. You know they're very good at that, and uh, oh, well, they're very good wow. at that too. <laughs> Believe me, coach or folks, I've coached for almost 19 years. I wouldn't be mad with that. <laughs> nope. Rebels inside. That's his nice move. Left. Yes, it is. McElroy. Jeremiah McElroy for Rossford. Yep, yep. And he's an intricate part, too, and he hasn't been able to play too much. And he just got his first foul. Yep. Well, you were kind of blistered on that before it even started. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of my roast beef. and uh, It is. It's very good roast beef. So. I'm sure Ben's roast well, beef is good, too. Ben good thinks beef. I need a part-time job. Yeah. He must not be listening too close, huh? <laughs> Arnston hits the first one. Like to remind everybody to leave a sports network. Just kind of keep an eye out or Facebook us. We'll let you know what we're going to be doing for the rest of the week. Hell, we have no idea. We have no idea. Get some both. 51 29, 520 left to go. And I got all my dance recital videos done. So what am I going to do? You know, actually, we're going to be doing. Uh, oh, oh Rebels. Uh, got it back. Oh. Three. Didn't get it back for the third. More. Jay got. Oh. They called Jake for a foul? What'd they call here? Out of bounds? Must have been out of bounds. Yep. Yeah. The way Jake acted, I thought maybe he got his fifth, but they called it out yeah. of bounds. He was Maestro, on the line. Maestro shook the camera, so. Eastwood bounced through that one out of bounds. 
Great ball handling tonight. Oh, Meyer right oh. up top there. Meyer. I love the Northern Buckeye Conference. I hope next year we'll be able to uh, put it all together so we can. Uh, wow. Oh, that'll be wow. another foul. That'll be uh, McElroy's McElroy. second quick. McElroy, I'm sorry. Well, I really did butcher that. Well, didn't I? well I always call him McElroy before. And basically what you see out there other than Ben are juniors and uh, for, for Rossford right now. And, uh, but I mean, you just gotta get props out to Eastwood, man. They are playing their Best butts man. off. Yes, they are. We'll have this game up on YouTube, uh, Toledo Sports Network uh, tomorrow. I'll try and get it done tonight, I don't know. Oh, that missed. Eastwood missed. That might be their first foul shot they missed tonight. <laughs> That's McElroy. Wow. McElroy, sorry. See, you got me doing it now. Eastwood just yeah, going through. to the board strong. Yep. That's a pop. Got it. Oh. Three play basket, Andrew Weinstein from the Lake Boost. Turning into a butt whooping here, folks. Wow. Rossford just can't hit. Yeah, not tonight. Arnston on the other side, though. Eastwood wants to slow it up a little bit. Well, I tell you what, Eastwood just taking it to the hole, too. <laughs> wow. Foul, they ain't slowing down at all, Mike. Course. They're fun to watch. The They're just taking it to the hole. And I thought maybe they'd take some air out of the ball. But. Wow. The front court play's just been phenomenal all night. Oh. I mean, just. Oh, their defense. Yeah. I mean, they're going to the ball, helping out. Headline had them up for this game. Hats off to Henley. I think what he told them is if they win this game, they'll get the next two days off. <laughs> Maybe. I think, <laughs> I think I think they might have them off anyhow. Oh, you didn't read the memo? No. I think I think Everybody's Coach Henline sent the memo out that if you win this basketball game tonight, and that's the that's the only thing I've heard. No? <laughs> wrong? I don't Am know. I wrong? You didn't read my book again? Is that what you're saying? No. You wrote a book? <laughs> I hope you know, not. I, oh. They're just quick on that pass coverage. They're just not letting any of them Jake passes. For three. Yeah, they're tired now. They're getting in short. Nice. Oh. Going back to the Rossford Bulldogs, 58-29. Thanks for all the great texts and uh, great people. and. Love you all. Ben Yoder won the 50-50 tonight. Uh-oh. Party at Yoder's. Oh, big party after this snow ben comes Orson in. Ben from Brendan Rebels. Yoder Brothers, snow removal. Yeah, he's going to be busy for the next couple of days. Yes, he is. Him and Jay, my buddy Jay, and uh, they're all going to be out there shoveling snow. Oh, oh, yeah. oh wow. What a move. What a move. He's unstoppable tonight. Number 22, Derek Forrest, his third at the line to shoot one, Jacob Meyer. Missed a foul shot. Wow. Derek Forrest. Off mark there. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. <laughs> nope. Got 12 points, made double figures tonight. Little Deweese. Brendan Rebels. Rebels. Rebels for two. 213, this contest has pretty much been uh, put together here. 
And uh, boy, if you're Eastwood, this is where you want to go into a little break, huh? Arnst and Felder. Oh. 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 Wow. Front 65-13 right now. 33. 65-33. Did I say 13? Yes, you did. I apologize. That's why That's why we have Rick Chaika here tonight. He's the man. Well, Mike, thanks for having me. Rick, I love you like a brother. We, we kind of do look like brothers. No, we Your don't. Your hair's a little grayer than mine. No, we and don't, you got Mike. A, and you got a little bit more of a. I got a lot more than you uh, do. You're down just there. A, you're 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 there. Yes, Mr. Frobos, I am as shocked as you are tonight. It's, uh, <laughs> uh oh, here comes the the little wifey here. Oh yeah, I'm in uh -oh. trouble. She's telling me I gotta go straight home tonight. Appreciate all the wonderful people that'll listen to our game tonight, and uh, we have fun doing this. Don't make any damn money doing it. I wish I could make money at this. I could pay Rick Chica then. I could pay Rick Chica. Mike, you don't have to pay me. Oh, I'm not but, that good at this. Oh my gosh, people love listening to you, hear your voice. The Vel, you're like Mel. You are like the Mel Torme of high school basketball. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Uh, no. No. Oh, well, we got all the subs in now. Oh yeah. Minute 50 left to go in this contest. Eastwood just, just. Unstoppable today. Well, I'll tell you what, they put the STP oil treatment in their engine today because it is running smooth. And uh, they, they, they had an agenda and this is, they beat Rossford twice this year. Yes. First time for a long time, I think. Pat Eakin could probably tell you the stats on that. Oh, Pat Eakin. Pat Eakin. You think Pat, Pat's over there saying, oh, my God, I wish I was with Chica doing this game right now. He's looking at you right now. We'd be doing such a good job of doing the play-by-play. -play. You know, when I played basketball in seventh grade here at Eastwood, I was unstoppable. I used to break the peach pit baskets we were in. Easy on Eakin. <laughs> That's like my little brother, older brother. There you go again. I, he's one a older brother. Thirty six. What was that call? Stepped on the line, bringing it in maybe. People are starting to leave. Yeah. I think they think we're gonna get snow or something tonight. Inside. Let's stay here. Appreciate all the great texts tonight to everybody. Thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. That one went in. Swope with a couple. Yep. Crossford's only got one senior on the team. That's Ben. Yep. That'll be good next year. Oh. Well, at least we threw that one away. 40 seconds left to go. 65-38 Eastwood. You know, everything has a reason to it uh, for both teams. And both of these teams have been top of the heap all year so far. And uh, and I just, you got to give credit where credit's due here. And uh, Eastwood came out here and played their game, period. Yep. And uh, their game is backcourt dominance. And they did that. Uh, they were able to move that hit ball. The boards, hit the boards. Offensive very boards good were tonight. incredible tonight. Yeah. And um, so you got to give them. You got to give them a lot of credit. Yeah. And the scoring. The scoring was well. You know, planned out. I mean, you know, Bose was hitting some threes. Myers yeah. was hitting it. You know. I think we're going to see it right yeah. there. Well, that's it. Eastwood, 65-38.
I want to thank all the wonderful people that make this happen. You've uh, you've been there, and uh, we've been doing this almost 17 years now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Getting through a rough year, but so glad to be back here at Eastwood. See that Nick Speck man? I love him to death. It's just all good people. And then you have guys like Chica. You've got the maestro up on camera, Glenn, Gene Hackman, Forbush. And, Gene Hackman. Yep, and please, folks, everybody be very careful. Do the smart thing. And the one bit of advice I want to get everybody, if we start getting a lot of snow and you have uh, one of those PVC setups for your for your heater, for your furnace, and you've got the, uh, the, the airs going out, the PVC pipes, make sure those PVC pipes stay clear. You'll ruin, you'll ruin a furnace. I did it. I did it Super Bowl Sunday five years ago. And thank you to Wojo's for uh, Tom Wojo for uh, making sure we had a furnace there. But this, Mike, I, don't, I hate to stop you right there, but Eastwood Rossford did at half court, and they do a little prayer after the game. Eastwood does that at every game. That really looks good out there. Just been good all the way around. And uh, folks, you all have a good one. Be careful, and uh, we will see you as soon as we have some more games here. Uh, and uh, God bless you all, and uh, take care, everyone.